Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to set up dual boot Windows 11 and Linux on your PC. Before you start operating the dual boot Windows 11 and Linux, there are some important things you need to prepare. A PC is running Windows 11. A Linux bootable USB drive. An external hard drive to back up your system in case anything goes wrong. Since building dual boot Windows 11 and Linux is relatively long and complex, we highly recommend backing up all important data to an external hard drive in case anything goes wrong. Next, we will set up the dual boot Windows 11 and Linux. The first thing you need to do is to create a second partition on your hard drive for Linux. Here make sure that your hard drive has enough free space. Since different Linux distributions have different requirements, you need about 10 GB to 100 GB of free disk space depending on your demands. To create a new partition for Linux, you need to shrink the primary partition that has extra space or create a new primary partition if possible. Right-click the Start menu at the bottom and select Disk Management from the Context menu. In the Disk Management window, right-click the primary partition that has enough free space and select Shrink Volume. Enter the desired amount of space to shrink in the box and click on Shrink. After that, you will get the unallocated space. Right-click the unallocated space next to the volume that's just adjusted and select New Simple Volume. Click on Next, and then set the simple volume size to the maximum possible value and click on Next. Assign a drive letter for the new partition and set its label to Linux. After that, click on Finish to complete the process. Next, you need to download the right Linux distro. Here take Ubuntu for example. After downloading the Linux distro, you can use Rufus to create a bootable Linux USB drive. Next, make sure the bootable Linux USB drive is inserted into your Windows PC. Restart your computer, and then access to BIOS. Navigate to the boot tab using the arrow keys, and then set the CD or USB drive as the first boot device and press F10 to save the change and exit. Next, reset your system. Your computer should boot from the CD or USB drive. Select the Ubuntu as boot menu and press enter to boot into Ubuntu. Next, to install the Linux distro on the new partition, select your desired language from the left pane and click on Install Ubuntu. Select your network if you want to download third-party software for your graphics card and media device. In the Installation Type page, select the Something Else option and click Continue to set the boot partition for Ubuntu. Select the partition you created at the beginning. Here, you need to use the following configuration for the Linux boot partition. After that, click OK in the dialog box. Once confirmed, click on Install Now and select your preferred options like keyboard layout, time zone, and user information via the on-screen instructions. Once installed, click on Restart Now and enter BIOS again. Then set your hard drive as the first boot device and press F10 to save the change. Now, you will be asked to choose Windows 11 or Linux to boot the computer. Well, you need to select the desired operating system each time you boot the computer.